on guys and welcome back to TCG Madness, the channel that is all TCG all the time. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys another Star Wars Unlimited deck profile. I'm bringing you guys a blue and green Eden Versio. And in just a few moments, we're going to head right over to StarWarsUnlimited.com and I'm going to show you guys the deck profile that I build for you guys. Just a few things real quick. If you guys do me the big favor, before we go any further, please hit that like button. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss when I drop a video. Comment down below if you guys like these type of videos, if you want to see more of these uh, budget profiles that I've been building for you guys. Um, as you guys all know, I'm a big fan of Star Wars Unlimited, but Star Wars Unlimited is very, very expensive right now. So I'm doing my best to bring you guys some fun budget deck profiles that you can do for under $40. Um, and you can whip up together real fast, play it with your friends, have a good time playing it, and then see if maybe later, if you want to continue down that rabbit hole and spend lots and lots of money. Because as we all know right now, Star Wars Unlimited is very expensive. So if you guys want to see more of this type of stuff, please comment down below. If there's any deck you want to see me build, comment down below as well. All things that you guys can do. Maybe help me give me some more ideas as I keep making more of these type of videos for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head over to Star Wars Unlimited and let's go ahead and take a look at the deck. All right, we are now here at Star Wars Unlimited where I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this is a blue and green Eden Versio deck profile and go ahead and lay down just a little bit of groundwork for you guys. So this deck, first of all, it's not optimal. Uh, if you want the most optimal version of this deck, I will bring you at least 10 cards that can take this deck that I probably would rank somewhere between a power level of six and seven that will instantly bump it up to an eight or a nine. That'll be the 10 cards that are in the sideboard. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you that at the end of the video. And that'll be the cards that are really, really expensive and really, really powerful. But obviously for a $40 budget, we cannot put that in. So if you want to continue down that rabbit hole and you want to spend lots and lots of money, I will show you what cards that you can add to this deck and really kick it up a notch. Another thing to note about this deck is I'm going to give you guys a couple of pros and cons of this deck. Uh, the pros, it's a very, very fun deck. It's a very unique deck and it really does have some really good combo and synergy pieces to it. The biggest con of this deck is that it's a very, very slow rolling, slow moving deck that you really need to rely on a handful of cards. And I will show you exactly what cards those are. I will give you guys a little bit of play by play and let you guys know like what you guys would probably want to see for your opening hand if you really want to achieve victory the most of the times. So of course, let's go ahead and take a look at the deck that I set up for you guys. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the leader first. Eden Versio is a very, very fun leader. She has tap it for an action. If an enemy unit was defeated this phase, heal one damage for your base. So right off the bat, that's actually a really good ability. If you defeat any enemy unit, just tap her and you will heal one damage from your base, pretty much like a quasi restore. Her back ability is actually really, really good here. So we actually get some really, really cool and unique abilities. It does give her shielded and when an enemy unit is defeated, heal one damage for your, uh, from your base. What you'll notice on her backside is there's no tapping. So every time you defeat an enemy unit, just heal one, heal one, heal one. Very, very annoying and very good. And what I mean by annoying is because you are you can actually heal a lot with her. So you have to really pick and choose when the right time it is to flip her on her backside and really activate her and really get the most out of that ability. Because the both front and back kind of had both of the same abilities, what we're really focusing on for this deck is how to really, really just destroy your opponent. Really, anytime they lay down some kind of unit, we want to be able to obliterate said unit so we can constantly heal one from our base moving on from the base we selected i did not go with the 25 level green one that has the play something for six or uh, six or lower out of your hand for free we went with the command center because you really do need that full 30 health from your base because this deck is a very very slow moving deck uh, you'll notice too there's not a lot of ones and twos or really three drops there's a lot of four five six seven eights and stuff like that so because of that, this deck is a very, very slow going deck. It takes a while and you really have to rely on a handful of cards to play, to really combo off a couple of things and to really get the most out of this deck. All right, let's get actually to the meat and potatoes. Let's actually get towards the deck itself. Kicking off, we have Cargo Juggernaut. This card, really, really good. And you'll notice too, very, very high cost. It's a six cost. It's a four, six. It does get shielded, which is great. And it has when played, if you control another blue unit, heal four from your base. So you'll notice we really already have synergy with this card. It's just once again, this card is, it costs six. So it's a big, it's a big beefy boy, it's four six, and you're gonna get shielded. So you're probably gonna be able to at least capitalize on its main ability, you're probably gonna be able to have it out for a turn or two. Um, and because of that, hey, as long as you control blue unit when it's played, heal four from your base. There's a lot of blue cards, including your leader. 
So right off the bat, heal four, pretty good. Next up, we have Count Dooku, which, you know, outside of him, there's one more card, but I think this is probably one of the best cards in this deck. Um, and he's probably the one that's going to cost the most as well. He also gets shielded. He's a 5-4. He does cost 7. When played, you may defeat a unit with 4 or less remaining HP. You'll notice you play him. Someone has 4 or less HP. Eliminate them. If you already have your leader out, you're going to heal. If you don't have your leader, tap it. And then heal for 1. So pretty good for Count Dooku. Also one of the uh, stronger cards in this deck. Next up, we have Inferno 4. It's a 2-drop. It's a space unit, it's a 2-3. When played or when defeated, look at the top two cards of your deck, put any number of them on the bottom of your deck, and the rest on the top in any order. Again, this deck does have a lot of cards that you, you need to get these cards out. You need to get them. So in order for us to get those cards that we do need, we have to make sure we have cards that can get through our deck a little bit faster. Um, and this is a good way of doing it if you don't have certain cards in your opening hand, or if you don't, you know, you're looking for a certain type of answer, I will tell you, which cards those type of, uh, you're looking for in this deck. So I have this type of card that you can play or when defeated and you can just rummage through stuff. Pretty good. Tutoring is always very good in any card game. Uh, next up, we have Death Trooper. He's a three drop, three, three. When played, two damage to a friendly ground unit, two damage to an enemy ground unit. Pretty good, right? There's two damage to something that's on your side. That kind of sucks, but there's a card that we would want to do that to. And do two damage to an enemy ground unit pretty good for a 3-3 moving on we have del miku who i personally think is the best card in his deck he's cost efficient at three he's a 3-3 he does have restore so when he attacks heal one damage from your base each event an opponent plays costs one more again you don't think the stuff comes in handy it comes in clutch in these games so i think personally del miku best card in this deck um oh and by the way i haven't been mentioning but you guys can see how many of each we have it in the deck two cargo juggernauts three count dooku's three inferno fours two death troopers three del miku's and two gideon Haas. another beefy boy five drop for a five five when an enemy unit is defeated give an experience token to a friendly unit you are going to be attacking a lot you are going to be defeating a lot of units you might as well get some added bonus to it, having an experience token that gives you a little more power that you can put on Gideon Haas, making him a 6-6. Six, six. Pretty good. And again, two copies of him. Next up, we have three copies of Distant Patroller. It's a very cost efficient at two. It's a 2-1, but when defeated, you give a shield token to a blue unit. Again, more than likely, you probably want to put that on your leader. Again, if you have your leader out, she has a shield. If she loses it, give another shield if you have this guy out. There's some good synergy. Next up, we have some of the green cards. We have Ruck, who's another 5 drop. 3-6. He has shielded, so you notice the theme here. When this unit deals combat dam damage to a non-leader unit while attacking, defeat that unit. Um, you have three copies of him. For those of you guys that don't know what that pretty much means, is that this guy has, if you're familiar with Magic the Gathering, he has Death Touch. If he attacks, he does damage, that unit is defeated. Even if it doesn't actually take him down to zero HP, that unit is defeated. Next up is another uh, friendly favorite that I like because it's cheap and it also is really good. It's in the green category. It is, of course, Sortium Star Viper. I hope I said that right. It's a three, it costs three for a three, three. While you have the initiative, this unit gains restore two. This card I've noticed that when I've tested it and played a lot of games with either my friends or my wife i can tell you right now either going up with this card or going against this card it is so annoying late game because when your opponent takes the initiative because at some point you're, you're going to have the initiative in this game if you have this card out and he starts swinging and you can get you know restore four from your base be really good it's really really cost so it cost three a three three you attack with it twice you're going to heal four and you're probably going to knock something out or you're going to do six damage to your opponent a very very good even if you just get the restore two and you get all that for it it's a very very good card also very cheap that's why we like it the most three copies of those uh next up is the gladiator star destroyer two copies of this it is another big body six drop five six when played give a unit sentinel for this phase if you don't know what sentinel is units in the arena can't attack your non-sentinel units for your base in other words they have to attack the sentinel first 
that can come in clutch again just two copies of that though now here we're going to start getting into the cards that when you're when you're in late game these are your win cons these are the cards that can win you the game out of nowhere these are the cards that we're going to put one or two in they're cheap they cost a lot but these are the cards you want to be searching your deck for and getting these cards at the right moment the first one is blizzard assault at at it's an eight drop but it is a nine nine that's a big 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 body unit when this unit attacks and defeats a unit you may deal the excess damage from this attack to an enemy ground unit basically this thing is shotgun shelling ground units you attack something that's like a three three you eliminate that you still have six damage to divvy up between other ground units you add that with your leader whether your leader is actually out on the backside. i mean that's a lot of healing you're going to do on your base or on the front side just to get that initial one but this thing can eliminate a lot of ground units and that's why i said this you you're going to annoy your opponent the longer this game goes for you the better your chances are of winning if you're going late game and it's been a long grinded out game you're probably going to win this game and eventually you can tutor this card or you can rummage through your deck or mill through your deck to get this card and i'm going to show you other ways you can get this card this is the card you want to get when your your opponent has like four or five brown units like the two drops the one drops a five drop put this thing out destroy something small after the rest of that damage out i mean watch that healing go watch the bodies fall it's a fun card to play on your opponent especially late game your opponent beats you early before you can get a card like this out it happens but one copy of this one next up we have super laser technician this is one of my favorite cards the three drop two one when defeated put this in your resource and you guys will remember we had the death trooper this is the card you want to play with super laser technician play him destroy your super laser technician get ramp get resource i love that little swing with them the good little combo piece you can play next up is grand moth tarkin another one that's a, a favorite of mine four drop two three when played so there's top five cards of your deck for up to two imperial cards reveal them draw them you will notice there are a lot of imperial cards a lot pretty much I want to say 75 80% of this deck is Imperial. So you're, you're, you're going to probably hit. Next up is a very cheap one drop, two one TIE Fighter. Not really, you know, don't have to go super into that one. Just two copies of him. Uh, two copies of High Advanced. The reason why we have these cards in here is because I did need some kind of extra space unit that I was lacking in the space department. So I went with the cheapest, most cost efficient ones I could find. Um, the TIE Fighter is a one drop. The TIE Fighter Advance is a 4-drop for a 3-2. When played, give 2 experience tokens to another friendly Imperial unit. We have a bunch of Imperial units. You guys can easily find uh, something to put on there. Next up, we actually go back to blue. This is the only upgrade I decided to put in the deck. It's Entrench. Cost 2, so it's cost efficient. Attach unit can attack bases. That's okay, because we want to attack our actual ground units or space units that our opponent has. And it gives it plus 3, plus 3 giving this to your your boss your leader or count dooku oh my god you can really really or giving it to the at blizzard if you if your game really went long oh my god you can really wreck your opponent next up is power of the dark side three drop uh an opponent chooses a unit they control defeat that unit pretty self-explanatory um two copies of that one we also did two copies of entrenched i keep forgetting to mention it but you guys can see it um, next up is three copies of Search Your Feelings, which is right up here. This card is the must-have. When you're playing this, this deck, if you guys decide to build this deck, this is the card you probably want to see in your opening hand. If you have this card and you hold on to it long enough, you will be able to dictate when and where you play certain cards, like maybe the Blizzard Assault that we only put one drop in, because you can search whatever you want from your deck and draw it. So you use these cards when you're really in a tough bind. You don't have an answer for your opponent. You're like, I need to go search in my deck for this answer. Definitely want to play this card. This is the card you want to see in your opening hand or at the very least within the next round or two. Three copies of this one. 
I think it's probably arguably the second best card, maybe the best card in the deck. You guys can comment down below. Next up is two copies of Maximum Firepower. When a friendly, friendly Imperial unit deals damage equal to its power to a unit, then another friendly Imperial unit deals damage equal to its power to that same unit. Again, pretty self-explanatory, just wiping out units with some big bodies that we do have. Next up is Vanquish. Defeat a non-leader unit, self-explanatory, two copies of that one. Now, here's another one that's also a big body. This is also a card that will probably give you, if, again, if you if you went long game, this card can also be a killer. We have three copies of the Reinforcement Walker. Again, there's another card that you probably want to see maybe by like the fourth or fifth round. You want to probably maybe see this card or play Search Your Feelings to go get this card. Um, when played or on attack, look at the top card of your deck, either draw that card or discard it, heal 3 damage from your base. It's a 6-9, it's an 8 drop, big body, and you're going to heal 3 from your base. Between this, between this card and the Blizzard Assault, again, those two cards, if you are fortunate enough to somehow get both those out, it, it's game over. Your opponent cannot deal with that, unless they play some kind of event to remove it. Like They're going to have to remove it. So another good card that's also again cost efficient and the last thing that we have i just threw it in there because i needed one more card uh patrolling b-wing i wanted to round out my space unit one more time uh it's a two drop one one play it draw a card again just to be able to search through your deck just a little bit more pretty good card there so that is the entire deck i want you guys to comment down below let me know what you guys think about this deck um this deck will run you $38.33 right now on TCG Player. Um, that does not include shipping, taxes, fees, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just right now, as is, $38.33, right under that $40 budget. Um, and if you really want to go, you know, really want to go deep pockets, uh, these are the cards that you would probably would swap out um, for whatever you want. Uh, Avenger, you want three copies of Avenger. When played or on attack, an opponent chooses a non-leader unit they control. Defeat that unit. A 9-drop, 8-8. Eight, eight. The big space unit. <laughs> it's also very, very expensive. Uh, of course, you also would want Vader. No no questions asked. We all know. Most powerful green card in the meta right now. It's the best card it is. And of course, it does have. we have a lot of Imperial units. So this card easily slides right in there. Next up would be... Two copies of the Devastator. It has Sentinel Overwhelm, and when played, you may deal damage to a unit equal to the number of resources you control. Again, it's a very, very powerful card. It's a 10 drop. That's a 10 10. Also very expensive. And of course, last but not least, the other card that you would add is the Super Blast, Super Laser Blast. Defeat all units for 8 drop. This card, I think, runs about 20 bucks pop. So you guys can see all of this right here would run you probably about 300 bucks, 250, 300 dollars easily. And that's on the cheaper, that's being more conservative. Uh, but that's it, that is the deck. Let me know what you guys think. An Eden Versio budget deck, all of this, $38.33. Let me know what you guys would wanna see next. Please, if you made it this far, hit that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. As always guys, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. See you guys next time.